so today we're going to be making some Cajun blend uh, goose jerky, Canadian goose. Uh, and this is the High Mountain seasoning. Uh, it's a variety pack. Comes with your cure, a shaker. Just open this up. So you have your cure in the middle, and it comes with a shaker, and then your measurements. So for this video, really all you need is a knife and measuring spoons. Uh, teaspoon and tablespoon. Now measuring is going to be the most important thing. If you try to eyeball it, if you put too much in, it will be a lot more salty. That cure is extremely strong. Uh, what I recommend <clears throat> for the goose breast, I have four here, so two different geese. Um, and these were already brined for a day and a half, sitting in salt water and sugar to get any of that game flavor out. Um, and now what I'll be doing is cutting these into strips so as you can see these are still partially frozen that's what we want this is a better cut you get more consistency with your jerky if you put it in the freezer for a couple hours or let it thaw for a few hours No. Okay, so the other thing I do want to mention, you do want to get a food scale. Uh, you do need to measure the weight of this, you know, how much to put in of your cure and of your seasoning. This isn't for you, pal. This isn't for you, down, Moose. Down. Buddy, come on. If you wanna eat the ice, you can eat the ice. Okay, so for my jerky, I like to go very, very thin. As you can see here, just barely enough. So what I like to do after I make the cuts and cut the slices, maybe cut them in half, then I'll clean off the edges here and get off all this fat. Some nice thin pieces. Once you have them, toss them on your plate. Now you are going to get shrinkage through the drying process. So you want to go too thin, but that's about perfect. Nice thin strips. And for those bigger geese, those are the ones you kind of want to cut in half. The thinner you go, the faster this is going to dry out on your smoker or dehydrator. Uh, for this video, I'm going to use the smoker. Uh, you can also do this in an oven. Um, I can put some instructions, depending on what you're doing, in the description below. Let's see how this holds its form, because it's still frozen. And I'll chop this in half. And I made a test batch with my own seasoning. And I put a little bit too much salt in there, so it was a little too salty. So you do want to be careful.
said zeroed out now. That's 1.2 pounds. And this one is... Two point eight five. That's less than three pounds all that meat, and that'll shrink down to about a pound once we're done. Uh, so give me one second, we get wiped up and cleaned up here, and then we'll get to seasoning. And in case you're wondering, they did all the hard work of figuring out your measurements per pound by here so this is they give you for whole muscle uh this is for jerky snack sticks from ground meat so we're gonna go with the top one so the darker colored are your small pouches these are gonna be your seasonings so i think i'm gonna go with a mesquite actually hmm. you know what i'm gonna go with cajun because that was the original plan but you guys leave a comment down below which ones you guys want me to make next cajun Cracked pepper and garlic, hickory, mesquite, or original. So that's your small one. So we have almost three pounds, which is two tablespoons and one and a half teaspoons. So I'll just do probably one and a quarter teaspoon since I'm slightly under. And then that's two tablespoons of your cure, which is your big package right here. So you mix that all in your shaker and you season it up. measuring cup now you're supposed to level it off uh, shake it to whatever it's close enough don't want to do that with the cure though get get a butter knife scrape it across the top make sure you have this correct
Okay. So this is the last part for 24 hours. I'm going to throw it in one of my vac seal bags and just vac seal it up, toss it in the fridge. And then uh, we'll be back tomorrow to make some jerky. Okay, so now we're gonna take all the racks out of the smoker. We're gonna go and load them up and give them a wipe down too, actually. So a little gross. Um, turn your gas on. I'm putting mine on just a hair above low because that's where mine needs to be set for 200. And I have a little bit of water I use and I soak this wood in there for about an hour and a half. So just a little bit of water. I'm not putting a lot in there. And I'm going to take one of these soaked logs and I'll toss it in with I put in the goose. Okay, from this point, another paper towel to wipe this down. And we're going to go and cut this open. Angle this a little bit better. Here. Cut open our bag that sat for 24 hours or overnight. Consuming. It's not something you're going to get done in an hour.
Okay. And now that we have everything in there, the exception of those, I'm gonna try to squeeze them on the upper racks and uh, we'll be back. Okay, so we got 12 pieces of jerky that can't fit just because the smoker isn't big enough. Um, I just threw in one of those soaked uh, pieces of hickory in the smoker. Now, I should be good to leave this for about temp temperature. I want that between about 150 and 200 is a good place. I'm going to keep some of this, this vent kind of closed. Get some more smoke on there okay, and i'll be so back once we have really windy today and i think that's causing this to flare up a little bit hotter so it jumped up over to about 250 and as you can see one of the top pieces is burnt so you got to keep constantly keep an eye on this that's the thing with smoking them it's not set it and forget it. You have to constantly, you know, keep an eye. Um, it's only been maybe 15 minutes and it jumped up really high. So probably about an hour. I'll make sure to flip all these and, uh, and rotate the racks. Make sure everything dries nice and even.
So the wood block actually caught on fire. I had to deal with that quick, I didn't have time. So some of the ones down at the bottom got a little burnt. It's not the end of the world though, but it's coming out good. Still need some more time on here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, juggle these around. thickest piece on that rack uh, that still still needs time to dry so the real thick pieces are gonna have to stay in okay they make things a little bit trickier but not a problem Uh, give me a minute. Alright, so the next step is to dry all this off. There's a little bit of moisture that's on the surface. So I just want to make sure it's all out. So pat it dry. And then I have my bags. Vac seal up with the same bags if you were to buy beef jerky at the store. Premium quality silica gel. Get them on Amazon for a couple dollars. This will keep it fresher longer. And fill up your bag. Piece. These smaller pieces are definitely a lot more dry. I don't mind it. I actually kind of prefer the much drier. So delicious. If you guys have any questions or comments, just leave them down in the comments below and uh hopefully I have an answer. Absolutely.